Hello students, so I hope all of you will be fine. Today we are going to discuss some more problems which are related to the probability and random variables and that is the third edition of our book that is the book by the Alberto Leon Garcia. Okay, so the question 2.44 here is that a multiple choice test has 10 questions with three choices each. How many ways are there to answer the test and what is the probability that two papers have the same answer okay so first of all let us first find the answer of our first part here so uh, if there are 10 questions and each each question has three choices so how many ways are there to answer the test okay so again we will try to solve it by using the same procedure which we have followed in our previous question and in that procedure let us have this box here in which let us have how many uh, questions we have we have test 10 questions so again we have 10 slots here okay and that is the one two three up to this 10 okay so in first question how many choices do i have i will have three choices in second question how many choices do i have i will have again three choices then three and up to this i will have three choices okay so what will it give us it will give me that three and three and three and three up to the tenth three so it will give me three raised to power ten okay so finding the answer of it will give me the number of choices the total number of choices okay so in this question the answer of part first is 3 days power 10 okay in part 2 it is asking us that what is the probability that two papers have the same answer so in order to find it let us have the let us uh, find the probability of uh, the answer that one person has got so the probability of or any one answer this one first person has got similarly the same question when attempted by the other person and has obtained the same answer which the first has got is this one so now if it has this the same question as that of the second person so it is the and problem so ending it here i will get the probability that two papers have the same answer and similarly multiplying them to together i will get 320 okay so that is the answer of my question and in this question you can clearly see the practical example of this and here okay so in previous question i have also told you that all the scenarios or all the conceptual procedures which we have been following here are due to either the multiplication procedure or this and procedure this multiplication is for the procedures where we will follow the and and this is for the or okay so one of that procedure is followed here and in previous question we have also seen the practical implementation of this or as well okay so that is the question number 2.44 uh, now in 2.47 it is asking us that a lecture room has 60 seats seats in how many ways can 45 students occupy the seats in the room okay so that is a very uh, easy question and that is basically the permutation questions because if uh, uh, the order of the persons also matter here okay so we have the formula npr so writing the npr here there are 60 seats and 60 seats he has to occupy the 45 seats so here it will be 60 factorial divided by 60 minus 45 whole factorial or it will be 60 factorial divided by the 15 factorial okay so that is the answer of this question and um, and similarly similarly we can also answer the uh, same questions in the similar way okay so that is the answer of this question now let us proceed okay so now we have another question here and in this question it is asking us that five balls are placed at random in five buckets what is the probability that each bucket has a ball okay so uh, suppose we have again let us use the same example here 
we have there five buckets okay these are one two three four five and these are let me the first bucket is here the second is here third is here fourth is here and this is the fifth one okay so these are placed in such a manner that uh, the, it can also have more than one balls so we have these balls okay so uh, five balls are placed at random in five buckets okay so what is the chance that it each and every one will have some uh, uh, combinations here so initially it how many in how many ways it can get the balls or how many balls it can get it can get five balls similarly it can also get five balls it can also get five balls it can also and it can also as well so uh, that's why this is the end operation in which each and every bucket has the choices of five balls okay because i have told you earlier that each bucket can basically have uh, the five balls as well so here the total choices here will be So the total choices here will be 5 into 10 raised power. How much is this? This is 5 raised to power 5. Okay. So that is the total choices. Similarly, now if I want each and every one of these to have uh, only one ball here. So initially in this uh, bucket, how many choice will I have? I will have 5 choices. In then the first bucket will have 5 choices and it if it will have one one ball has fallen into this bucket how many choices will be left so there will be four for the second bucket now again it uh, the one will be aimed at this uh, bucket so the three will be left then two and then one so that is basically the five multiplied by four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one and that is the five factorial choices okay if each and every bucket has one ball okay so what is the probability that each bucket has a ball so that will be probability that each bucket has a single ball so that is the permutations or the combinations when each and every bucket has one ball divided by the total number of possibilities or choices here so that is 5 factorial divided by 5 raised to power 5 okay so that is the problem 2.50 and uh, i think it's enough for today we will talk about more problems like this one in our upcoming videos so today we also talked about all the previous concepts which we earlier on discussed here so that's it for today and i'll see you with some more examples very soon thank you so much